Booze and Sex, a guide to drinking and having sex. Sex and drinking can be fun, but it can also lead to crap, unsafe, unwanted and mistaken sex. Drunk sex can be fun. Having a bit to drink and then having sex is very popular. Sex is a big deal for some people and there can be a lot to worry about. Some people feel more relaxed about this after having some booze. This means that they're more relaxed about talking about sex, kissing someone, taking their clothes off, someone seeing their body, being good at it, and what sex means for them. It can help people feel more sexy and confident. So because of this, many people can and do have a bit to drink and then have really great sex. But then other people can have really great sex without any booze at all. But it can make sex rubbish. Alcohol can help people feel really up for sex because they're feeling more confident, but it can also affect sexual arousal, so it can make penises go soft and vaginas go dry. Some people can be really turned on, but it might be really hard for them to have an orgasm or to enjoy sex, and it can also make some people feel very tired or dizzy or sick. It can be less safe. Booze can make people feel more relaxed about their sexual risks and using condoms. They can forget where they are, or get carried away and have sex without them, or they can try and put them on but because they're a bit drunk, do it wrong. Or because they are losing their erections, they think that the condom is to blame and take it off and continue without. Or because the vagina is getting dry, the condom breaks, or they blame the condom and take it off. It can also be harder to have a conversation about what kind of sex people want to have and feel safe doing when pissed. It can make sex unwanted. Alcohol can affect how awake and aware people are. Because this makes someone more vulnerable, many people are sexually assaulted when drunk. Some people use alcohol to get people drunk so they can attack them, or spike their drink with a stronger drink or a drug. Alcohol can make people seriously confused about whether someone is saying yes or not, or whether someone has totally gone off the idea. If someone is totally out of it, they might not be able to consent. This means that sex could be illegal. It can lead to mistakes. Sometimes with alcohol, one thing leads to another, though sometimes that's a bit of a weak excuse. And mistakes can happen. For instance, breaking the rules of your relationship, having sex with a friend or with someone else they shouldn't have, which now makes things complicated. And then with a hangover, people's hurt feelings and Facebook walls have to be dealt with. If you do choose to drink and maybe go and have sex, maybe think beforehand about different ways that you can make it safer, but also really enjoy it. For more about sex, relationships and you, go to bishuk.com.